For the last month or so, myself and other team members here at Mansfield 103.2 have been gearing up for the memory walk for the Alzheimer's Society. Well, on Sunday, we're all heading to Clumber Park to put on our walking boots and to help to make a difference. We're going to be joined by some of you as part of our listeners' army. Each of you, of course, has had your own reasons for, for taking part in the walk, and we thank you for your support. I've never really been affected by Alzheimer's or dementia, but doing the News in Focus programme has really opened my eyes to the illness and how challenging it can be case by case, day by day. I've also seen firsthand how beneficial these services are on our doorstep. I was invited to the Memory Cafe a few weeks ago, as you heard uh, in the programme. Funds raised through the Memory Walk go a long way, not only to helping those keep running, but also into vital research which helps families and individuals understand the complex nature of the illness. On Sunday we'll be joined in Clumber Park by Naughty's children's TV star Richard McCourt. I had the privilege of interviewing him a few weeks ago for the News in Focus programme. Here's what he had to say about the walk and why dementia is an issue close to his heart. Alzheimer's is something close to my heart because I lost my mum to the disease when she was only, well, she actually got dementia at the age of 58, so it was early onset dementia. Uh, she passed away at the age of 64, so very young indeed. And um, like I say, it's something close to my heart, and I've been trying to raise awareness and raise money for the Alzheimer's Society ever since. Yeah, certainly. So obviously, just going to touch upon that just very briefly, of course. You mentioned the age of, of your late mother there, obviously 58. Um, yeah. It, it's it's an illness, isn't it, which a lot of people associate with sort of being, you know, sort of in, in the later years, but it does affect anybody at any time, as you've seen. Well, this is it. I think a lot of people think, oh, it's my grandma, it's my granddad that's got dementia and they're like 80 odd years old. But yeah, like you've just said, it can actually affect anybody at any age. It's not something that people know about. Uh, and there is something called early onset dementia. Um, yes, yeah, so it can affect people in their 40s, in their 50s. Um, but yeah, that's why, you know, like I said, things like the memory war, you can unite with the Alzheimer's Society and make people more aware of it. If you've been touched by Alzheimer's disease, then uh, please do come along on the 1st of October. Because it is so close to your heart, the Alzheimer's Society must have sort of helped you in some ways uh, as well. What sort of help did, did they give you and, and have they given you since? Because obviously, you know, you, you have got involved with all these walks now. You're a, you have been a patron of the charity as well. So they, they must help you sort of, you know, day by day, I guess, as the years go on. Yeah. No, completely. Well, I'm an ambassador for the Society. I've been an ambassador for about, well, over 10 years now. Um, but yeah, the great thing about the Alzheimer's Society is they can give you all the help and support you need. Like just on their website, there is so much information about the disease. If you're kind of, uh, you don't understand it or anything, then go on their website and it'll, it'll put you in the know, you know. Um, they also provide services in each different city across the country and town across the country. Um, Sheffield being a, a really good place that, that the Alzheimer's Society have got lots of facilities. My mum, I remember, used to go to a day centre there, which obviously uh, gave my dad, who was looking after for a bit of respite um, and they just have all the kind of care support you need in Sheffield which is brilliant and events such as the memory walk go a long way to help to, to fund them and continue those going and from your own personal experiences you've seen firsthand how influential they can be haven't you so it, it, it really is important that people get involved well that's it every single penny counts and the Alzheimer's Society is a charity so they need much needed funds to to keep caring for people and helping people with dementia that full interview of course can be heard on our news in focus shows which you can find on our website there are also a number of other stories from family members Alzheimer's Society staff and a lot lot more which give a real insight into why Sunday's walk is key if you can help in any way, then please donate and support Team Mansfield 103.2. We'll leave all the links in the description and, of course, on our website. On a personal note, my radio journey began eight years ago today. A single moment which has sparked so many happy memories and opportunities. It frightens me to think, really, about what would happen if I wasn't able to remember them. If I were to look at a photo and just see colours and shapes, for example, rather than the stories behind them. Or to look, perhaps, at a loved one and have no idea who they were. Everyone has their own story. Everyone is making their own individual walk for their, for their own individual reason. But together we're uniting for a very worthy cause. If you're going, please look out for us and come and have a chat. We'd love to hear your story, really. I look forward to, to both meeting you and with chatting to you as well. 
If you're not going, though, be sure to follow all of our social media accounts. We'll keep you as up to date as we can. We know the signal's a bit, a little bit dodgy in Cumber Park, but we'll keep you as up to date as we can with our programmes throughout the day. And of course, if you can, please donate to Team Mansfield 103.2 and help make a difference. Help to unite the fight against dementia. Help us put one foot in front of the other and take a walk on the memory walk and make a long-lasting difference. See you on Sunday.